What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in, if you are tuning in. I'm induced from Paradise City Records in Los Angeles, California. I want to give a shout out to Discogs and Audio Technica for hooking it up. So I'm going to be doing a set. I did a, I did a mix a couple years back for Wax Poetics called Miami Boogie Gems. So I'm going to be doing a new Miami Boogie Gems. Boogie, disco, electro, a bunch of records from Miami. Because I'm originally from Miami. And hopefully soon after this happens, I'll actually re- I'll actually record it, and Wax Poetics might put it up again. The new one. This is my first time through. I haven't even tried it yet. I haven't even put records in order. I just grabbed every, the whole stack I had, and I'm gonna do it live. So enjoy. Thank you. 
This one is by Ish. Called Don't Stop. Ish was a big uh, like Miami session player. He was on a ton of Miami records.
Shake a freak your boom boom around this room. Take a freak your boom boom around this room room. 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 Mellow down, mellow down, mellow down. Get on down. Shake or freak your boom boom. Golden and McCullers on Bound Sound Records, Classic Miami label, Underground. This joint's called Dreams.
is a story of Count Dracula. But we would like to cast Count Dracula in a different situation. We'd like to put him in the ghetto, in the projects. And so it was. Dracula went up to the projects. <coughs> a regular project in a regular city. Knocked on the door. My name is Count Dracula, and I'm here to take the lady, Miss Lady, out for a night of dining, dancing, and eating. Uh, and biting. I'm sorry. Well, I'm Mary's mother. And, uh, come on inside. Uh, have a seat right here. And you say your name is what? Count who? Uh, Count Dracula, ma'am. Mama, is that Count Dracula? Yes, Mary. But, uh, come in just a minute, darling. I want to talk to you. Uh, you know my daughter? Yes, I, I met your daughter at the bus stop about two or three days ago. And I asked her out for dinner. And she told me that, uh, she would, uh, enjoy going out to dinner with, with the Count. I am from the old country. Uh, you know, and I just thought I'd take your daughter out for a, a bite. <laughs> yeah, well, well, let me explain something to you, blood. I don't know about all of that, but I know this. But listen, you say your name is Jackie. Well, what you got that cape on for? And, uh, you know, this is summertime, and it just looks so strange. I don't want my daughter going out with nobody with no Halloween outfit on in June with a cape on, hot as it is. Man, what is your problem? Yeah, I, I don't have a problem, really. Yeah, you got a problem. Because I ain't never seen nobody uh, with no cape on, and the eye shot, I brought pencil stuff all over your eyes. And your teeth, you, do you go to the dentist? Cause you need to have a brace on them. Those look like fangs in your mouth, man. But the two gold ones, you know what? Let me tell you something. You better cover up your mouth here in the project. But them two long gold fangs you got, man, they got some dudes that sit down right here in the desk and then knock you in the mouth and take them, them fangs. Them fangs are like you weigh about a pound a piece. Yes, well, they're gold and they're very expensive. Well, no, I'm not gonna let my daughter go with you cause, see, I know these, the troops that live right down there, they're not gonna let you get out of here with all that gold in your mouth, man. You just don't know where you are, do you? Have you say you from the old country. Well, let me tell you something, bro. You're perfectly welcome to sit here on the couch till in the morning. Cause just to show you go down through the project uh, this time of night with that cape on and that, and that gold shine in your mouth. Man, look here. Somebody gonna take advantage of you, Dragon. <laughs> I'm telling you nothing, baby. You just go back in there, girl, and uh, listen to the thriller or something. Uh, turn your record player on. Listen to Michael in the thriller or something. Cause it, you can't go nowhere with this thing here. And so Dracula, very despondent, he left, and he went downstairs, and sure enough, as Dracula was approaching his uh, automobile, three dudes came out of the corner. What's happening, blood? What's going on, partner? Hey, man, what it is? Uh, I'm Count Dracula. Yeah? Well, uh, man, look at him. Them gold things you got in your body, them things look like about five inches. They're exactly five and three quarter inches long, and they weigh a pound piece. Ooh, and, ooh, oh, oh. You know what that was? Somebody hit Dracula in the mouth, broke both his fangs off, the golden fangs. And the next day, Dracula was out in the woods talking to the wolfman and Frankenstein. And, you know, I ain't never going back to that project no more, because... Man, here in my mouth, we're back to the project. I want to hit back to the project. What kind of back did they hit you with? Gentlemen, introducing the first Nick, I mean the first black president of the United States of America, President Blowfly. Wouldn't be right. To do a Miami mix and not put some blowfly on it. AKA Clarence Reed. Miami legend. If I'm playing a couple like silly records, I have to play blowfly. Thank you. He's kind of where it all came from. Good morning, Mr. President. You could draw a line to two live crew. Miss Click. This shit gonna be easy. President don't do nothing but sit on his ass all day and give all his any motherfucking way. Guess I get my head together here. Where's my fucking cocaine? Bet that bitch done moved it again. Miss Click. Mr. President, sir. Could you get your ass in here, please? Right away, sir. What did you do in my ship? Are you constipated, sir? Bitch, you know what I'm talking about, my motherfucking raw dog. Oh, I took your dog to the vet, sir. Ho, oh, I'm talking about coke, cocaine. You know that white powder shit that you put on your pussy when I'm getting ready to eat it? Yes, sir. It's right in front of you, sir. Thank you. That'll be all. Stupid bitch. If a pussy wasn't so good, I'd fire her. Let's uh, get over here and get my head together. <sighs> Damn, that's some good shit. Mr. President, sir? <laughs> shit. What the fuck you want now? Mr. Jackson is here to see you. Mr. Jackson? Reggie Jackson, Andrew Jackson, or Michael Jackson? What? Which one? Mr. Superfly Jackson of the United Pimps Association. Uh, shit. What the fuck you want? He wants the money you promised him for endorsing you. I told that dumb motherfucker those assholes at Congress got all the funds frozen. What the fuck you want for my... Well, he stated that payment in coke would be sufficient, sir. God, my last coke. I'll take it. Give it to the motherfucker and get rid of it. 
That's the end of that shit. I thought this shit was gonna be easy. I got it. I got some weed here somewhere. Here it is. Throw me a couple of joints. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> Mr. President, sir? Oh, this shit. What you want now, Miss Clay? Mr. Paul is here to see you, sir. Mr. Paul? Paul Newman, Paul Revere, a Paul Anchor. Pope John Paul, sir. John Paul? What do you want? The weed you are currently smoking, sir. Oh, shit. I can see right now, I'm, I'm not gonna like this motherfucking shit at all. Huh? Give it to the motherfucker! Can't sniff no coke, can't smoke no dope. Damn, I know what I do. Fuck this bitch again. Miss Click, would you come in here, please? Right away, sir. Come on over here, baby, and put off your clothes with your fine self. Um, I'm down. Nah, I don't want to hear that shit I'm this morning. Wait, can't wait, smoke wait, no dope, can't sniff no coke. Nah, nah, later, later, I can hear all that shit later.